everyone, welcome back to another video here on my YouTube channel. Today we are back with The Sims 4 In Bloom Legacy Challenge. That was not it at all, but I wanted to show you a quick little update I have made. If, you've, if you notice, the house is bigger. We added some things and moved some things. That is because I was not having my Sim get crushed by a Murphy bed. So this is the new couch we're using. I moved some things around in here and she has a little bedroom now. A proper little bedroom with this little chair. I was looking for this chair, actually funny story, for like forever because I saw someone else use it in their Sims game and I just didn't know who made this chair. Turns out it was one of my favorite CC creators. I believe it was Peacemaker, I think. Uh, anyways, I found the chair. And so you best believe I'll be using that like crazy. Anyways, we need to weed our water plants uh, 10 times. So let's see if any of these need watering. No. Do we have any? No. And we don't have much money. But she should be going to work today. And her performance is already excellent. So I'm guessing that that's going to be good. I do want to adopt a dog today. Because if we're going to have a dog at all, then we better get it now i also did reinstall that one mod and i think that i need the cookbook to actually be able to purchase uh ingredients but i'm not sure but i think we buy products yeah i'm betting you yeah this is where most of the stuff will come in i'm guessing fruit and veg interesting i don't no those aren't the actual We've got those two. I don't know where we buy stuff at, which isn't good. And she's watching TV. I want her to actually be practicing yoga, like working on her wellness skill, because that's another thing we need to do. And if we can't make money, then that would probably be beneficial. Yeah, we go to work tomorrow. I thought the day had changed. It did not. And I'm thinking about making a gardening club. Sorry, I'm just moving around. I can't sit still ever. So Knox is part of it. Actually, isn't there already a gardening club? Can I just, yeah, garden gnomes, yeah, but gardeners is better. The green thumbs or something, I don't know what we're going to call ourselves. See, I added three new sims with this trait, so, oh my gosh, we're surrounded by guys now. I didn't think that through, guys. Uh, I did not think that through, people did not think it through, but we are actually going to outdoor. Hmm, what are we doing? Ooh, fishing. I forgot that we should start fishing. Um, tend garden. That is what we need to do. Wish for simoleons. Yeah, change into that. Oh. Oh, it likes us. Did it give us literally one simoleon? With great knowledge comes great power, and the wishing well just bestowed a particularly juicy morsel into Daisy's mind. It would be quite lucrative to blackmail another sim in exchange for Daisy's silence. Is it worth making an enemy in exchange for a pocket full of simoleons? Maybe? Oh, what? No, don't eat your bread. She's hungry. Um. Hmm. Who do we want to make an enemy of? I mean, Mateo already doesn't like us, so what if we just invited him around? So, maybe we just blackmail him? Oh, Mateo's right there. Okay. Oh, gosh. I don't want to try and blackmail, but... Is it... Is it mean? Uh... Blackmail. Oh, my gosh. This is actually insane. Also, out back, I added this little table where she's about to eat a slice of gourmet fruitcake instead of blackmailing this guy, which she needs to do for simoleons from the wishing well. Blackmail. Go blackmail. We need you to blackmail him. Don't know what she has on him, but she's blackmailing him. Did we get it? We did it! Oh my gosh, it gave us 2,000 simoleons. Daisy blackmailed Mateo by threatening to tell everyone about how he buys collectible llama dolls off the Sims shopping network. Daisy has earned 2,133 simoleons and is now enemies with Mateo. No way. Can we, like, apologize? And, like, apologize. Oh, okay. Oh! I didn't tell her to do that! I told her to send him home! 
This is what I wanted to avoid. Oh my gosh. No, 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 no. Oh. Oh, she won. She won. She won. She won. She won. She won. Okay, send this dude home. Right, and then we're gonna water all of our plants here. Yep, and we completed this first part of our aspiration. Now, oh, yep, milestone complete. Uh, now we need to achieve level four of the gardening scale and evolve five different plants. So, and I, does it say we did something else? No. Oh, we, uh, we got our skill up. Our gardening skill is now level three. That's great. Hey, I heard you became enemies with Mateo Maverick. That guy's a jerk. One of the... <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, Marcus. We have amazing, you know, good compatibility with, although we perceive him as basic looking. Um, okay. Julian, neither near nor there. Um, we perceive him as basic looking. What about Weston? Weston, we also perceive him as basic looking. Oh, gosh. Um, we're going to adopt a dog. I forgot. I thought it was a cat for a second, I think. I have no idea what I said at all. But we're we're adopting a dog. Oh. Okay, we've got two different Bellas. Beryl, Bruno, and Coco. C Pomeranian. Wire Fox Terrier. What if we get two dogs? A Shepherd, an Irish Settler. What if we get three dogs? I mean, let's just get to know these three dogs, first of all. Oh, and level four, that's what we need. And now we need to evolve five different plants. I'm starting to think adoption agency is never coming. It's already in progress. What the? I don't... I'm confused. Am I going to have to add a dog in create a sim? I don't understand. I'm almost kind of digging golden for this gen. But there's, like, a lot of... Let's go. Let's go golden. They're friendly. Let's, oh, a couch potato and loyal. That's what I'm thinking. No, we should randomize, really. Okay, so jumpy, sleuth, and then the friendly was the base. Um, so it's a boy, and we're going to make it a puppy now. Um, I don't really like that name. Or that one. Ollie. Okay, Ollie's really cute. Um, Ollie Bloom. Oh, look at little Ollie Bloom. Oh, so cute. So cute. Can we give him a collar? No. But I do want to... Um, I swear there's a flower. Why do I want to make him a bat boy? Bat boy. Bat boy, bat boy, bat boy. Bat boy. <laughs> really didn't work. Okay. We have little Ali, Ali Bloom. Oh, look at him! Oh, is uh, I go too far out? Look at the tits bouncing. He's oh, he's so cute. Uh, this was the right choice. One hundred percent, this was the right choice. Okay, I'm actually gonna put this in our inventory, just simply because it will get all like nonsensed up if I don't. Okay, I also think I need to introduce the boyos, the men I made. So we have Marcus Swan over here. Um, he is adorable. We have um, Weston Abrams right there. And we have Julian Coleman right here. So we're going to see which one of these fine boyos catch my Simulin's heart. We also have Knox. Knox is still in the running even though he has bad compatibility with us oh well, what is it best fine donate one simoleon there you go make you happy somehow we've got a whole bunch of money and i don't remember how so oh, we got our work done that's how duh i'm i love this career it's like it's not going to take us long to get promoted i don't think and that's another reason why we should be starting on the next generation already because it's actually a lot faster than you ever think it will be like i was doing the barbie legacy challenge just by myself for myself and i got to generation two and i was like oh yeah she's going to be very career driven like i make storylines even for myself when i'm not playing for youtube so she was going to be very career driven she was going to go to uni and it was all going to work out and by the time she had her kid kids uh oh we got a fish 
uh, because she had multiple of them. By the time she got that, it was like out of the question of like getting stuff done because I got everything done, but the next generation was still a kid, so I couldn't do anything for the next generation, and that just aggravates me to no end. So she's already going to start working on that next gen. So I've learned my lesson, and also Sim Lim's going away. He's the only one still fishing with me. Hmm. Hmm. Oh my gosh. Hi. Weston Abrams. Oh, blonde guy! <gasps> okay, guys. I think this might actually be the guy. Oh, we want to compliment his appearance. Okay, that's always good. I'm flattered, but I'm not interested in that type of relationship with you. What? No one! Interesting. I didn't know that. I should have checked. Wow, he's an ace sim. Okay. That's completely alright. Okay, so he's not husbando material, but whatever. That's cool. Marcus is apparently already there. So, maybe Marcus is the guy we should be looking at? I don't know. Is there a grill? Yes, there's grills. Ooh, some mushroom steak sounds delicious. Well, the skill level three. Marcus. What do you get when you cross a snowman end of the empire? Frostbite. Ha ha. Friendly response. Oh, affectionate one. That was actually kind of a little funny. Not gonna lie. And you know, I like a jokester. I do. I do. So I think that he might be our guy. So he did not. What? <laughs> what is this? What is this? What is this? What's happening to my dog? <laughs> no! What was that? Don't praise him for that. I... Yeah, lecture him for trying to become a person. Lecture him for being a shapeshifter, secretly. Uh, sure. Best. Why not? We're making money now. Just whatever i'm flattered but i'm not what the heck romance no one well it seems like marcus is our option unless he romances no one too he's here oh my gosh we can ask him we can flirt with him we can see compliment his appearance go 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 right now go this is this is our chance did it it landed Marcus is the one. It landed! Oh, we can, we can, um, wait, why is it, which, oh, we can evolve some plants. Oh my gosh. I think it could help us with cooking. Oh my gosh, it's Celia. Oh my gosh, go say hi. It's been forever. Like, just, oh my gosh, suggest you try online dating. And we suggested she try online dating. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't realize. Okay, let maybe just do a few more things and then we'll head off home. Hello? Hello. Interesting. Ask on date? Marcus. He said no. Excuse you. Invite to current lot. Ask on date. Don't stop that. She's eating her bread. Oh my gosh. She keeps falling. There we go. He's active. I think that's his final trait. Oh, look at this. Look. Oh. Oh, they're having their first kiss. How sweet. Oh. Oh, she's romantic. Oh, that's so sweet. Well, maybe we should ask him to be our boyfriend first. We're, we're totally texting Celia right now. Okay. Because... Okay. Yay! He said yes. Okay. That calls for a celebration. Let's go. They're woohooing. In a bush. They're woohooing in a bush. Oh. 
interesting we have a lot of romance now okay but i think we're gonna end the date and we are going to go home <gasps> oh he's running away why why is only running away we just got home um is that under the social tab yeah post alert about missing pet oh my gosh that's awful uh was unprotected <gasps> i actually wasn't expecting that what guys the next generation is coming actually way sooner than i wanted it to i wanted to like get started on maybe the process of like moving with sim in getting married not directly to gen 2. oh guys this is not good oh my gosh she's hungry but she she's also gonna have a baby oh my gosh it, you can't really see it yet hold on let me change her outfit you, you can't really see wow guys um our little simulim is gonna start on gen 2 buttercup gen oh god <laughs> i'm sorry i'm having a mental breakdown i think that's gonna be it for today's episode though so i'm just gonna leave it i'm gonna leave it there um bye everyone i i'll see you in the next one <laughs>